بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم جی السلام علیکم ابھی بات ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا لسننگ ماڈیول ویری ویری بیسکس اباؤٹ دا لسننگ ماڈیول فرسٹ تھنگ اف یو ار گوئنگ ٹو اٹمپٹ ہائز اکیڈمک اور ہائز جنرل لسننگ ماڈیول ول بی دا سیم فرسٹ تھنگ سیکنڈ تھنگ دا ٹوٹل ڈیوریشن اف یور لسننگ ٹیسٹ از 30 منٹس 30 30 منٹس رائٹ ہاف این اور Now, there are two options. If you select computer delivered IELTS test, then the duration of your full test would be 30 minutes full test plus two minutes to review your answers. You don't have to shift your answers anywhere else because you are just writing and filling the gaps or marking the multiple choices on the laptop or the, um, I should say, on the computer screen. Okay. And if you uh, are paper-based test, uh, be attentive. If you are going to attempt paper-based test, then 30 minutes for the test, which is the same time, plus 10 minutes extra. Why? In these 10 minutes, you have to shift your answers from the question paper, which is question paper you have noted. Okay? answers. You have to shift them to a separate single-page answer sheet. That single-page answer sheet contains... <clears throat> Single page answer sheet contains 40 boxes, right? You have to write your answers over there. I'm going to, um, I'm going to open the PDF of that. This is going to be your listening sheet, okay? This is how your answer sheet looks like. Make sure while transferring the answers, do not misspell the word. Any wrong spelling, for example, if the answer is smile, right? And if you write S-M-I, L E E double E if you write double E then your answer would be incorrect right there is no negative marking so you have to attempt all the 40 questions I hope so it is clear now let's move on to the questions now let's discuss how the questions are there in the listening test okay I, I told you that there will be 30 minutes the number of questions will be total 40 40 these 40 questions are further divided into four parts part one two three four 10 questions in each part and in each part the question types there will be different question types right now let's have a look okay from where we will get the audio recording in the real test obviously they will play they will provide you the headphones and via headphones you will listen the audio while practicing for example i am uh, this is my book uh, this cambridge 16 book right page 10 listening test one cambridge 16 page uh, page 10 Okay, question number one to 10. I told you that there are four sections or four, four parts. The part one, which is the first part, one to 10 questions, right? Now, mostly 80 to 90% of the time, first 10 questions are filled in the gaps, right? Now you can see, write one word or a number. It is very important to read the instructions. For example, when you will open the YouTube, You will search IELTS book 16, listening test one or the recording. Yes. I'm sorry. My uh, duty is evening to hear lecture record. I'll be able to listen to it. Yes, it's okay. If you want to leave, you Thank can. You. The lecture is Thank being you, recorded. Thank you, sir. Okay? I will share in the WhatsApp group. Send the patient to the patient. All right, let's continue, Jeep. Let's continue the discussion. So these are the first 10 questions. I'm, I was telling you about the guide, uh, about the instructions, one word or a number. When you will find out the audio recording, how would you going to be, uh, to listen to this audio recording? Uh, open YouTube, right? Search IELTS book 16, listening test one audio. You will get the audio. You will play it. Abhi, uh, apni practice ke liye, make sure headphones hain, to headphones use kare. ہینڈ فری ہے تو ہینڈ فری یوز کریں ان دا ریئل ٹیسٹ ٹیسٹ سینٹر ول پرووائڈ یو ہیڈ فونس رائٹ بٹ ابھی پریکٹس کے لیے آپ نے اپنے یوز کرنے ہیں ایک چیز اسپیکرس پہ پریکٹس نہیں کرنی یہ چیز آپ ذہن میں رکھیں ٹھیک ہے پھر اس کے بعد نیکسٹ چیز اب آتے ہیں پرسن ٹائپ پہ جیسے جیسے آڈیو میں آپ کو انسٹرکشن ملیں گی یو ول فالو دیم اینڈ یو ول اٹمپٹ دا ٹیسٹ اوکے ناؤ دیز دیز آر دا کوشچنس ون ٹو ٹین انڈ می دیز آر آل فل ان دا بلینکس Let me play the audio so that you could
Let's just leave the rest of Just give me a second. Okay, I'm playing the audio now. Please listen attentively. Uh, please confirm. Can you see the? Uh, sorry, can you listen this audio? So, Helen, well, please open from correct. No, sir. Me too. I'm not hearing anything. Hey. So, Hale, can you please confirm now? So, Hale, and well. Yes, so Hale. Now, you have a voice? All right, I'll play the audio at the end. Okay, first of all, let's go through all the question types. Let me show you how to attend these questions, right? right? And, then, and then I will play the audio. Okay, uh, please confirm, can you, uh, am I audible? G so here. Vakar, please confirm, just to be a waza here. Yes, I am, yes, I am hearing you clearly. All right, okay, let's go ahead. Okay, these are the questions. Now, in the audio, the first thing, with, the, with that person is going to say is, you have some time to look at questions one to seven, or maybe one to five, right? You will read these questions and while reading, you will underline the keywords, right? Then the recording will be played and you will listen the instructions and will attend the questions, for example. Now, tiny engineering uh, engineers, ages four to five, create a cover of an dash so they can drop it from a height without breaking. Now, you should underline, Create a cover for, cover for what? N, N means something singular, right? So you have to be attentive and you have to uh, listen to the recording and you have to pick the word. How to pick? I will show you in a second. Create a cover for the dash and go ahead. Take part in a competition to build the tallest what? Now this is your second question, okay? Take part in a competition to build the tallest, tallest what? Now they will tell you in the recording and you will write the answer. Okay. Now the next thing which I'm going to next question types part two. Questions 11 to 20. These are multiple choice questions. You have to select out of three. But be careful. They will talk about all three options just to confuse you. But we'll agree on only one. That one would be your answer. Okay. Now I'm going to play the audio in a second. First, let me go through all the question types. And now this is a question type called map labeling, right? This is a map. This is a map. This map shows main road, access road. These are the alphabets. Now the person is, will talk about, okay, go towards the northern side. Uh, there will be factory at the end. Okay. And all these things. He will mention these road maps, right? These, um, and these signs. And then you will have to mark your answers according to the instructions. Okay, the next question type. These are multiple choice questions. Multiple choice, these are not just multiple. Multiple choice, multiple answers, right? Choose two letters. These are questions 21 and 22 means A to E, you have to pick two words. Oh, sorry, two alphabets, two options. Now, if the out of two, if one is correct, you will get one mark. If you select two correct options, you will get two marks, right? This question carries two marks. Now, again, question 22. 3 and 24. These are multiple choice, multiple answers. You have to pick two. These are the instructions. Okay. Now, next question. This is a question which is called um, can I, responsibility matching or matching in, uh, simply. For example, the person will talk about these pictures or movies, right? Uh, first, first is Falcon. Now, this Falcon, next, Fish Hawk. Uh, basically, what happens or what happened in this picture? Falcon. He will talk about what happened, the power of the color, 
a potential threat, but they will not talk about the exact word. They will be just discussing. There will be two people discussing something about their, uh, let's say, topic of presentation or anything, right? So you will have to infer the meaning from their conversation and you have to make the point. I will show you in a second. Now, and the last 10 questions, last 10 questions, how to attempt these last, last 10 questions? These are exactly similar to part one questions, but but it is a more lengthy, uh, lengthy discussion, by the way. One more important thing that in the part one, they may say read questions from one to six, and then again, they will give you time and will read questions seven to 10. But in this section, they will say you to read questions from 31 to 40, all 10 questions in just one time. They will not give you two time. They will not split the questions for you. You have to do it yourself, right? You have to read the questions. Make sure in the part four, you underline or you circle these subheadings. The first is main heading is this. These are the subheadings. Now, let's say you test attempt kar rahe ho, aur kahin pe aap beech mein, um, gum gaye hain, aapko nahi pata kaun sa question chal raha hai. But stay focused and keep and uh, stay focused. Or sunay ho se ki jab wo principles ke baare mein baat karenge na, it means ki now the next upcoming question would be 33. When they will talk about the influence, right? Yeah, ancient, 2000 years ago, Greece, these are the words. When they will talk about these words, it means the next person will be 32. And when we come down, uh, this is cognitive behavior therapy, CBT. When they will talk about the CBT, it means the next person would be treatment for dash. I'm um, question number 37, okay? And so, and so on. All right, now let's start the practice. Let me just stop this. And instead, open it. Okay, uh, please confirm. Can you see the shared screen? Okay, sir. Okay, uh, let me play the audio and please confirm if you would be able to listen or not. Yes, can you hear or not? No. What about now? Test one. This is the IELTS listening test. Yes, please confirm. Can you listen uh, listen to audio now? Yes, sir, audio. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Now we will attempt some of the questions, right? And I'll show you how to attempt different question types. Okay, let's go ahead. You will hear. All right, I'm just um, making it a bit fast, right? So that we could practice all the questions from different question types. Make sure one thing that in the real test, they used to give one example at the beginning, but now they do not give any example for example if you would be practicing book number 12 or 13 you would see they attempt one example at the beginning but this book it is book 16 listening test one now this test obviously this is the latest book so they have not included an example so be careful about it now let's start yes carefully and answer questions one to three. Oh, it means they have given you time to read just questions from one to three now it is easy Hello, children's engineering workshops. Oh, hello. 
I wanted some information about the workshops in the school holidays. Sure. I have two daughters who are interested. The younger one's Lydia. She's four. Do you take children as young as that? Yes. Our tiny engineers workshop is for four to five year olds. What sorts of activities do they do? All sorts. For example, they work together to design a special cover that goes round an egg so that when it's inside, they can drop it from a height and it doesn't break. All right. What is the answer of question one? Egg. Okay. Oh, you all student, you can answer the case answer. You need to answer. Mehran, you can answer. 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 You Let's check out the tallest which thing, right? And then we will move on to the next question, okay? Well, sometimes it does break, but that's part of the fun. Right. And Lydia loves building things. Is there any opportunity for her to do that? Well, they have a competition to see who can make the highest tower. You'd be amazed how high they can go. Right. All right. What is the answer? Um, so here. Tower, I think so. All right. So here, I'll tell you. 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 Building, sir. <laughs> Tower, I think so, sir. Yes, tower. T O W E R. They are talking about the tower, right? I will share the audio at the end of the test so that you will be able to attempt. The question to yourself, right? The answer is tower, the tallest tower. They are saying about highest tower, right? Tallest is the highest tower. Okay, so be careful about the synonyms they would be using. All righty. Okay, let's move on to the next question, guys. Four to ten. Now, you know how to fill in the blanks. Okay, I have two questions. Let's move on to question number eleven. Okay, let's move on to question number eleven. Oh, listen carefully. All right, you have time to look at questions 11 to 14, please. Everyone should read the questions. Let's begin. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 14. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Stevenson's, one of the country's major manufacturers of metal goods. Thank you for choosing us for your two weeks of work experience. My name is Julia Simmons, and since the beginning of this year, I've been the managing director. Stevenson's is quite an old company. Like me, the founder, Ronald Stevenson, went into the steel industry when he left school. That was in 1923. He set up this company when he finished his apprenticeship in 1926, although he actually started making plans two years earlier in 1924. He was a very determined young man. Stevenson's long-term plan was to manufacture components for the machine. All right, now we have started the next question. Uh, now they have started speaking about the next question. Originally, Stevenson's manufactured goods. Now they're talking about the manufacturing goods, right? So it means 11 answer is now ended. Tell me, what is the answer? Um, G. Vakar. 1923. 1923 is incorrect. Sohail Anwar. Uh, 1926. 1926 is the correct answer. What is it? In 1923, he set up kiya tha after his in, uh, apprenticeship. Right? He said that he started in 1924. But the set up was in 1926. Mein tha. 
तो वकार सिर्फ आप पहले पॉइंट पे फोकस ना करें जो पहली वो चीज बोले ठीक है फोकस ऑन अदर थिंग्स अदर ऑप्शन ठीक है अब मैं अगला ऑप्शन आपको करवाता हूँ क्वेश्चन नंबर नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व जरा सुने was a very determined young man. Stevenson's long-term plan was to manufacture components for the machine tools industry, although in fact that never came about, and for the automotive industry, that is cars and lorries. However, there was a delay of five years before that happened, because shortly before the company went into production, Stevenson was given the opportunity to make goods for hospitals and other players in the healthcare industry. So that's what we did for the first five years. Over the years, we've expanded the premises considerably. All right, now they're talking about the expansion of the premises. Premises means the locality or the surrounding area, right? It means question number 13 has started. It is very important to keep an eye on the questions आपको अगर यही ना पता चले कि नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टार्ट हो गया तो आप तो बारह पे या ग्यारह नंबर क्वेश्चन पे बैठे रहेंगे और रिकॉर्डिंग एंड हो जाएगी ठीक है सो बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट इट नाउ व्हाट इज द आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व जी मुझे बताएंगे नोमान इंडस्ट्रीज मे बी नेक्स्ट वकार ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री ये भी इनकरेक्ट है कैसे देखिए उन्होंने पहले जी मेहरान आप बताए नंबर ए नंबर ए द हेल्थ केयर इंडस्ट्री देखिये वो क्या कह रहा है कि पहले मैन्युफैक्चरिंग गुड्स जो उसने बनाए वो कौन से थे लेकिन कहता है जी मशीन टूल्स उसने बनाने का एम था लेकिन ये कभी पूरा ही नहीं हुआ और ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री कभी है कहता जी फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर में मेनली जो स्टीवन मैन्युफैक्चर गुड्स फॉर किस चीज के लिए मैन्युफैक्चर किया था वो हेल्थ केयर इंडस्ट्री थी फर्स्ट फाइव इयर्स के लिए क्लियरली उन्होंने बोला है कि क्या किया था ठीक है सो द आंसर इज हेल्थ केयर इंडस्ट्री लास्ट क्वेश्चन करवा रहा हूं एंड वी विल मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन भाई क्वेश्चन 13 केयरफुली अटेंटिवली सुने ओवर द इयर्स वी हैव एक्सपैंडेड द प्रेमिसेस कंसीडरेबली वी वर लुकिंग एट द साइट इज बिग इनफ सो मूविंग टू अ न्यू लोकेशन हैज नेवर बीन नेसेसरी However the layout is far from ideal for modern machinery and production methods so we intend to carry out major refurbishment at this site over the next 5 years mm. I and better give you some idea of what you'll be doing during your two weeks with us All right now uh, the answer of question 13 has ended Ji 13 ka mujhe answer batayenge uh, so here Sir I think it's see the company is going to move shortly No, they have not talked about the movement, and they are not planning to move either. Yes, sir. एक और बंदा थी. No man. Sir, I think B is because they are not moving. Yes, they have. They want to make plan to move something yes. like that. उन्होंने कहा है कि हमारी facility already इतनी है कि उसमें हम operations कर सकते हैं. ठीक है? ये आप दोबारा सुने के ज्यादा बेहतर समझ आ जाएगा बट दे हैव नॉट टॉक्ड अबाउट के कंपनी मूव करेगी ठीक हो गया जी नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टाइम नेक्स्ट हमारे पास है मैप एक दो पहले मैप वाले क्वेश्चंस करते हैं चलो भाई अच्छा अब अटेंटिवली मैप को पढ़ना है जो जो देखें आपके पास वर्ड्स है ना जो जो वर्ड्स है इनके अल्फाबेट्स और ये जो वर्ड्स मेनली वर्ड्स को सर्कल करना है ताकि आपका इन पे फोकस रहे अब वो बताएगा अच्छा देखें याद रखें ये जो क्वेश्चंस है ना फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन कॉफी रूम पहले बात करेंगे फिर वेयर हाउस और फिर सो मैं दो क्वेश्चन आपको करवाता हूँ ठीक है सुने आप अटेंटिवली Okay, now I'll briefly help you to orientate yourselves around the site. As you can see, we're in the reception area, which we try to make attractive and welcoming to visitors. There's a corridor running left from here, and if you go along that, the door facing you at the end is the entrance to the coffee room. This looks out onto the main road on one side and some trees on the other. and that will be where you meet each morning 
The factory is the very big room on the far side of the site. Next to it is the warehouse, which can be accessed by lorries going up the road to the turning area at the end. Now they're talking about the warehouse, right? It means they have already told you about the coffee room. Coffee room, answer kya hai? Unhone kya kaha? Reception se left corridor ki taraf aap jayin. Or jate rahe, the door facing at the end would be the coffee room. So the answer is H. It means ke 15 ka answer kya hai? H. ओके ओपन कोर्टयार्ड कोर्टयार्ड के क्या उसने बात बताई क्या था कि इसके फार अब फार से मुराद वो ले रहा है फैक्ट्री की तरफ क्योंकि उसने पहले भी ये वर्ड यूज किया कि इन द वेरी फार द फैक्ट्री इज द बिगेस्ट रूम ठीक तो अब क्या था जी ओपन कोर्टयार्ड से आप जाएं मतलब कॉरिडोर अब उसका कॉरिडोर देखिए क्या है सिर्फ यही है ना जो रास्ता जाता है तो कहता है ओपन कोर्टयार्ड से जैसे ही आप इसके कोर्ट कॉरिडोर में जाएंगे तो द फर्स्ट ओपनिंग और द डोर एट द राइट वुड बी द वेयर हाउस ठीक है और नेक्स्ट टू द फैक्ट्री सी राउंड अबाउट के पास सी ये आप दोबारा जब ऑडियो रिकॉर्डिंग अटेंटिवली सुनेंगे तो आपको समझ आ जाएगी स्टाफ कैंटीन एक और भी कर लेते हैं दिस इज राइट नेक्स्ट टू रिसेप्शन टू फाइंड इज द स्टाफ कैंटीन दिस इज राइट नेक्स्ट टू रिसेप्शन आई कैन कॉन्फिडेंटली से दैट द फूड इज वेरी गुड बट द व्यू इज इट द विंडोज ऑन वन साइड लुक ऑन टू अ कॉरिडोर एंड कोर्टयार्ड व्हिच आर वेरी अट्रैक्टिव एट ऑल and on the other onto the access road which isn't much better you'll be using the meeting room okay they have talked about the staff canteen kya keh raha reception ke next hai acha ab reception ke baad fir usne bataya hai ke bate ek second bate ek ko ek view acha nahi hai wahan pe aur uski ek side pe courtyard hai aur ek side pe access road hai so the answer would be g g is the answer of this question okay now let's move on to the next question here quite often and you'll find it on rule 24 acha jaise abhi maine aapko multiple choices karwaye hai na single answer is tarah ye multiple choice multiple answers hai means you have to attempt uh, mark two options theek hai ek question karte hain zara question pehle padhe which two parts of the introductory stage to their art project do jess and tom agree were useful kaun se do points useful the in mein se aap choose karne hai theek hai कौन से दो थे? And answer questions twenty one to twenty four. Okay, like they gave us the theme of birds to base our project on, and I'm not really all that interested in wildlife, but I'm starting to get into it. I've pretty well finished the introductory stage. So am I. When they gave us all those handouts with details of books and websites to look at, I was really put off. But the more I read, the more interested I got. Mm, me too. All right. Now they both have agreed. They can. Bandhan has also said, "Yeah, me too." This means E. The hand out with research resources. Research sources. Ye ek answer to ye. Second. I found I could research so many different aspects of birds in art: color, movement, texture. So I was looking forward to the bird park visit. What a letdown! It poured with rain and we hardly saw a single bird. Much less use than the trip to the Natural History Museum. Yeah. I liked all the stuff about evolution there. The workshop sessions with A bird bird park visit is not the answer. Usne bataya hai ki barish hogi to ek bhi pirde ko hum dekh nahi sake nahi hai. Ek bhi bird ko hum nahi dekh sake. To kehta hai usse behtar to ye tha ki museum visit hota. Ab museum visit mein kya hai usme? It talks to Fletcher were good too, especially the brainstorming sessions. Ah, oh, I missed those because I was ill. I wish we could have seen the projects last year students did. Mm, I suppose they want us to do our own thing, not copy. Ab ye kehti hai ki projects dekhne dusre ke lekin ladka kehta hai nahi nahi they say ki copy nahi karna apna apna kaam karna hai. Theek hai workshop session ladki ne chhod diye the miss kar diye the attend nahi kiye. To iska matlab kya option jo reh gaya wo kaun sa hai? C. So C is the right option. E and C. ठीक है अच्छा जी नेक्स्ट एक दो क्वेश्चन और करते हैं अब आपको समझ आ गया होगा कि मल्टीपल चॉइस मल्टीपल आंसर कैसे करते हैं नेक्स्ट 
have to look at that too. Be very careful. 25 का आंसर आपने चूज करना है इतने ज्यादा ऑप्शन में से ठीक है कंप्यूटर बेस्ड टेस्ट आप दे तो फिर तो ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप ऑप्शन होता है आप ए को ड्रैग करके यहाँ पे आके पेस्ट कर देंगे लेकिन पेपर बेस्ड टेस्ट जब होता है ना ठीक है तो आपने क्या करना होता है पेपर बेस्ड टेस्ट में कि अगर ट्वेंटी का आंसर सी है तो सी आपको आके यहाँ पे लिखना पड़ेगा और सी लिखने के बाद सी को काट दें ताकि जब कट कर दें ताकि नेक्स्ट जब क्वेश्चन पढ़े तो आपका टाइम ना वेस्ट हो दोबारा सेम ऑप्शन पढ़ने में ठीक है तो आई विल क्विकली गो थ्रू टू और थ्री क्वेश्चन फॉर यू एंड दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन टाइप इसके बाद क्यों क्योंकि मैंने आपको पहले बता दिया था कि सेक्शन फोर जो आपका होता है वो दोबारा क्या होता है बट फिली दी ब्लैक्स क्वेश्चन एंड दीज आर अटेप्टेड इन द सेम वे जैसे मैंने आपको पार्ट वन में फिली दी ब्लैक्स करके बताया ठीक है जी नाउ लेट्स प्रैक्टिस दीज टू क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज अ रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर आई विल एंड द रिकॉर्डिंग एंड विल शेयर विद ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन द वर्ल्ड सर्कुल ठीक है चलो भी क्वेश्चन करें देखिए 25 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 25 to 30. One part of the project I'm unsure about is where we choose some paintings of birds and say what they mean to us. Like I chose a painting of a falcon by Landseer. I like it because the bird's standing there with his head turned to one side, but he seems to be staring straight at you. But I can't just say it's a bit scary, can I? Hmm. You could talk about the possible danger suggested by the bird's look. Oh, okay. Now they have both agreed. A potential danger. Danger means what? A potential threat. D is the answer. Okay. Now listen to the next one. There's a picture of a fish hawk by Audubon. I like. Fish hawk. Twenty-six percent start. Okay. It's swooping over the water with a fish in its talons, and with great black wings which take up most of the picture. So you could discuss it in relation to predators and food chains. Well, actually, I think I'll concentrate on the impression of rapid motion it gives. Right. Rapid motion. Rapid motion means fast movement. C is the answer. Do you know that picture of a kingfisher? Okay, question twenty-seven has started. Now this is the end of our discussion. I have told you how to attempt different question types, and this.